Hello and welcome, it's KB here. So I'm starting a new series of videos where I'm gonna show you guys free and open source apps. So this is the first episode and there will be more episodes coming in the future. So without doing any delay, let's begin. So the first app is called Winget UI. This is a free and open source software that you can get from GitHub page. Using this, you can download Windows softwares without going to software's website. Let's say, for example, I want to download a 7-zip. So I'm just going to simply search for that here. So to download any program, you can right click and click on install. And there are some other options too. You can find almost all the popular uh, and most used apps in here. And there is another feature called software updates. Yes, you can also update your softwares within this. So you can see I have many softwares that I can actually update. To get more info about this software, you can go to their official GitHub page. And I just got a new update for Winget UI. It now looks a lot more cleaner and looks totally different actually. Next app is called Shell. If you use Windows 11, you know, there are two right click menus, one Windows 11 style right click menu and one old Windows 10 style right click menu. To access most of the options, you have to click on show more options, which will bring the old right click menu and it doesn't look good. So to fix that, you can install shell and it will make a Windows 11's right click menu better. You can go to their official website to learn more about it plus to download it. Or you can use the Winget UI, the first step that I showed you. Next step is called Traffic Monitor. This is also a free and open source software. And using this software, you can have a widget showing you internet download and upload speed on your taskbar. So I have this thing installed and I always use this so I can keep track of my internet speed actually. So here you can see this is where it shows up. You can also customize it, change the font, settings, color and everything. This is a really useful program if you want to keep track of your uh, internet speed. Plus it also shows you the GPU and CPU usage. I personally use this for internet speed monitoring only. Next step is called OBS Studio. This is a really popular software. This is also free and open source software actually to do a screen recording game recording or even streaming this is a really popular software almost everybody knows about this actually maybe there is a bit uh, learning curve to it there are too many settings and all that but this is actually really good software for screen recording game recording or streaming this is the software that i actually use for recording gaming streaming and everything you can see in one side i have the uh, my webcam recording and to the other side i have my screen recording this is a really really good and really popular program next step is called sharex another really popular and free and open source software for taking screenshots but it can also do a screen recording this is the official website and if you want to learn more about the software, you can go here and learn more about it. This software offers many features. You can do a screen recording, you can do a window capture, monitor capture, region capture, and uh, you can also edit your images. You can apply effects. This is the ultimate screen capture, file sharing, and productivity tool. This is really, really good program and also really popular. Plus it is a free and open source. Next app is called Radiograph. I recently uh, found out about this app actually. This isn't a free and open source app, but it is completely free to use. And you can download this from Microsoft Store. Actually, recently I made a full video about this. This is a really good program for monitoring your system like CPU and GPU temperature, usage, even RAM. And you can also look into other hardwares on your system like fans, motherboard. This is a best looking system monitor app that you can use. Next one is called Bleachbit. This is also a free and open source program for cleaning your system. It has a simple and clean interface. And this is the software that I actually use to clean my PC. In my opinion, this is the best PC cleaner software. Plus it's free and open source. Next step is called Bulk Crap Uninstaller. This is also a free and open source program. This is an uninstaller program. Using this, yeah, you can uninstall programs and it can also uh, clean up the 
leftovers like registry files folders and this is a really powerful uninstaller for windows and this is the uninstaller that i actually use on my computer and it is the advanced uninstaller and it offers many features next app is called scr cpy plus this is also a free and open source program. Using this, you can mirror your screen to your PC. And this app is actually based on SCRCPY, another really popular program, but this provides a GUI. So this is the program that I actually use to mirror my phone to my PC. So you can see this is the GUI that it provides for SCRCPY and it offers many other features. I'm going to click on start SCRCPY and here you can see this is my phone and I can control it using my mouse and keyboard. This is the best screen mirroring software for Windows. Now the last app is called Krita. This is a really popular and free and open source program for digital art plus photo editing. And in my opinion, this is the best free and open source alternative to Photoshop. And this is the software that I actually use for everything. Uh, photo editing, making thumbnails, making my logos and everything. This is actually a really good program. I do everything in it. And there are many plugins available for this. For example, there is even a uh, Photoshop's generative fill like plugin for Krita called Krita AI Diffusion and using this you can do a image generation image expansion and all that just like a Photoshop's generative fill and it also works similarly to Photoshop too there is a a layer style just like in Photoshop we have drop shadows and everything inner shadows you know it's actually really close to Photoshop and I am actually using this for everything. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.